Look like it's the end of the line for Fresh and Fit, man. We about to react to playback. They got some feedback they want to say on this. Let's 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 get into it, bro. It, it just don't even make sense, man. To just say and do all these things and then start backpedaling like you don't know what you did to even get demonetized is kind of crazy when you guys preach accountability. I don't know. That's just me, bro. But let's get into the video. Fresh and fit trying to get us out of here, my boys. This is also a warning to other channels out there as well. Now they're mad that they're getting, there's consequences of actions, bro. And it's crazy that they're literally, they're just plotting on desperate men, bro. And it's Stop, sick. Walter, shut the f up. You don't live the life. Nigga, everybody keeps exposing you, nigga. You do not live the oh, life, nigga. Smoke. Smoke. <laughs> Yo, man, if y'all ain't got the news, man, fresh and fit, seem like they're over with. YouTube finally stepped in, demonetized the entire channel, so that means that they cannot make any more money on their videos or even receive um, stream donations. Can you receive stream donations? Ooh. Yeah. So they're now taking their their show. Seems like they're going to take it on Rumble full time. And uh, looks like it is over for fresh and fit. Oh, mm. man, what a journey this was, man. And... <laughs> So why, why are you saying no, that? No, I'm just saying it was it was such a hard fought battle. They really was trying to save us. And who's gonna look after men on YouTube now that they're not here, man? <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I think it's just an end of an era. Like they've been here for a while and they did a lot of things. Maybe they would have been on here a little bit longer if they didn't do some of the stupid things they did, because I ain't gonna lie to you. If you out here talking about KKK stuff, I heard calling people well black people monkeys and all that or whatever like that. It's like Y'all don't understand that joking like y'all on YouTube, they ain't gonna take that lightly. So it was like, what did y'all really expect that was gonna happen? I don't know. That that does that's just a head scratcher to me. And a lot of guys gonna step in, but it's gonna be for money. Oh man, y'all niggas are sick, bro. You know that this gonna be a fucking huge surplus of betas. Yeah, what that's them be... on YouTube, nigga. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do, bro. <laughs> oh man, it's like, oh man. Okay, look. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I think they also had a Patreon, so it's probably not the end of the world for them. But it is the end of the world at the same time because they're probably losing a majority of the revenue. They're definitely losing a majority. Yeah, losing a majority of your revenue is not a big deal if you work by yourself. But when you got a whole team, they got a of whole people, team and that of people team's relying on income as they got so icy, they got Chris, survive. they got, got fresh, and you got people who get guests and shit like that. All those they got a lot paid. of people, and so when they stop getting paid, you start losing those people, and now things begin to get harder, things begin to get slower, and you have to icy gonna be the first one out. She the first one leaving, yeah. and she got a kid. She out of there. They're trying to guide these young men, so Facts, it should be man. worth it. Should it should be a passion project, it should, it should man. Be, it should, it should, it's all worth it at the end of it, man. <laughs> yeah, it has to be, because yeah, it's, like, it's, it's they're really passionate about it. Very passionate about like, it. Like, what ways would you say they guided men the best? One, away from these whores. <laughs> Got to, that, I mean, these 304s, baby mama drama, the Shaniquas, you know, they definitely... And just because your, your reality is ours doesn't mean that we're wrong. Like, we live this lifestyle. This is who we are. No, you yeah, don't, so, nigga! And, Stop! Walter, shut the f up! You don't I ain't gonna lie. I watched that. I watched their podcast a few times, and I ain't gonna hold y'all. Fresh is literally the person that I don't think any of us will come to. We can say we support Fresh all we want to. I mean, I never paid them money. I've never subscribed to you know their Patreon or anything like that. I don't know. It, to me, it's really just not that deep. I mean, yeah, we have supporters and stuff like that, but. I'll just give them a thank you and move on. I mean, some guys can do that, but at the same time, I'm not taking Fresh seriously at all. Like, Myron has some good takes, and he has some stuff I just dis I disagree with too. But Fresh, I'm literally not taking you serious. I'm just not. I'm gonna look at you like you just somebody that don't mean anything to me. To be honest with you, I don't see you bringing any type of relevancy to the podcast at all. Man, just sitting in the background chilling like he had a. Uh, NBA game that that's really it he ain't doing shit else I mean what you expect nobody's sitting there taking you serious we just like yeah fresh yeah fresh sometimes he could say stuff but most of the time he's just making corny ass jokes and everybody got to laugh at because they don't want to get kicked off the show so it's like fresh just 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 move to the side I mean y'all can get mad at me all y'all want to I'm not taking fresh seriously that that nigga's a buffoon oh, live the life Nigga, everybody keeps exposing you, nigga. You do not live the life, nigga. That's literally, that's all we was trying to say this whole time. That's the entire time. You don't do that. You don't live the life. You socially awkward fuck. 
You don't live this life, nigga. Shut up, bro. Damn, God you all, damn, you want all the smoke. You damn. sound awkward as you say that. What the fuck? I, I ain't gonna you lie. First, you sound Shut awkward, up, bro. That nigga do sound awkward when he say shit. It's like, well, um, I was at the store, right? And you know, I, I seen this bad girl. I uh, went up, you know, I I, I I talked to her, and you know, I, 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 well, she, she was uh, she was she was she was kind of feeling me at it. You know, I, I gave her my number. I put in the digits and. We said we we're gonna hook up on a date. Like, first, shut the fuck up. Like, I don't even want to hear you speak when he just says shit about him pulling women. Wasn't there a video about this nigga standing in front of a Lambo, just looking fucking stupid as hell, trying to get a fucking woman? It did like, hey, how you? Like, first, <sighs> you couldn't even pay a woman to even try to give you her number. Like, that was just so. I mean, I wouldn't even get mad if women gave you a number because they were scared of your ass. Like this nigga's this, this nigga is just so fucking awkward. Fresh, I'm not taking you seriously. Sit the fuck down. I, I don't hear what y'all say. This nigga is never, he's literally bringing nothing. Like I, I don't care. This nigga like the season you add on the fucking pasta that don't do shit. Like a little nigga trying to do thrust inside a woman, but he ain't get you. She can't feel shit. Nothing's getting pumped. You can't feel nothing. That this what Fresh is bringing. He's he's bringing no substance. That's like a white girl trying to season food. It ain't nothing, nothing changing. Ain't shit going fucking spice up. That's just how it is for. Her. Uh, you know he's actually true just because your reality is not someone else's reality it doesn't mean it's not true, but they don't understand how that also applies to them. Yeah, because it's also just their reality, not the actual truth. Because an NBA player didn't give you pussy, nigga. Shut the f up, nigga. <laughs> what is? I don't, I don't dabble in the brown. Those black women, mm -hmm. they definitely guided them away from that. Mm -hmm. In the episode, uh, one of your hard on thoughts episodes, they had, you know, when they got all the women around them, uh, they decided to kick out Asian doll because um who? she was talking. That's why I said I don't know who Asian doll is. She's black. She is black, and that's why the blogs are trying to cancel her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't Knight Riders. Um, secondly, they got <sighs> them towards, you know, dodging accountability. Gotcha. They, do and they dodge gotcha. accountability. I mean, mm -hmm. peak level. I ain't gonna lie, that Asian doll episode was well-deserved. Like, she was just going in crazy. She was disrespectful. I ain't gonna lie. Some of them, face some of them Frank Castles were definitely deserved because women are on there with attitudes and shit like that. Thinking they can't say anything or they can't get checked about anything. So when they go on a show and they start turning crazy on the show, it's like, you want them to just sit there and take that? I'm not letting someone bitch me on my own podcast. I don't care. I don't give a fuck how y'all handle that shit. If a woman is coming in there talking crazy to me, motherfucker, you gonna get out. Like, I seen the whole thing. Like, she was very disrespectful. And then they just kicked her out. Like, but the, I think the whole thing of generalizing all women saying, oh, yeah, well, all Sneakers wear wigs, they're trash. They pussy st shit. I don't even you, look. YouTube get on my nerves. I don't know what they going. They probably gonna take me down. I don't know, but they say all these things about black women, and now they're generalizing. Oh well, all these black women are ghetto. They loud. This and that. So it was like they're already putting them in a bubble. But there are some women in that bubble that deserve to get what they got, and she was one of the women that deserved it because she did, like she was coming. She was coming with that motherfucker heat. Talking about some. She not gonna get out. They pod. They, she's not gonna get off. They podcast. You better get your ass up and move. Dodging and like one on one. Fresh and fit trying to get us out of here, my boys. This is also a warning. Oh yeah, this shit was goofy. I seen this. This well. shit was so fucking goofy. If, um, if y'all run into any complications, please be on the lookout because it seems like they are trying to silence a lot of people. They was striking everybody. Sure shit. All your channels. I was. Bit, I seen that shit. All removed about them, but it is true. The three iconic videos that we had on the channel about Fresh and Fit exposing them. One almost hit a million. Word. And as soon as you get caught in the lies, y'all then try to silence people all around because y'all know for a fact moving forward because people can't actually express themselves through the dislike button. On YouTube, y'all can just get away with lying and scamming the people whenever y'all want to. Deflection one on one. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's not their fault they scamming niggas. It's the niggas' fault. We want to sit here and get mad at the woman and the niggas for scamming. Motherfucker, they just taking advantage. Like, Fresh and Fit was taking advantage of men who can't find themselves. Women, was, women are taking advantage of lost men that can't find themselves. Shit, no, fuck that. They're taking advantage of men who just are fucking horny and can't get fucking pussy. I mean, to be honest with you, they don't seem like they're scamming. Those niggas is stupid enough to get scammed. Like that punch made dev dude on that video or some shit. 
Niggas gotta be a stupid motherfucker that think he gonna help them with a fucking course. I heard he was selling a damn course. Nigga, he's scamming y'all ass off the fucking course. I think they were saying that same shit about Andrew Tate where he was making a fucking war room and it was $50 a month and shit like that. And he was scamming those men as well. But I don't really give a fuck about that shit. Let me stay on top of it. The whole point is, I don't think these people are scammers. I think those people who are giving them the money are just stupid enough to get scammed. It's just that simple. I mean, how many times are we going to blame people for trying to scam somebody? Like, this is your fault you don't know this information. So if you get scammed, nigga, that's on you. If you didn't know, nigga, that's on you. Like, you can't get mad that you got scammed and that you didn't look and do your research about this shit. Like, a lot of people really need to watch their surroundings. They on their, they outside on their headphones and shit like that. Somebody can come right behind you and stab your ass. And you're going to end up dying. Like, it make no sense. So when a nigga sit out here and say, oh, well, it's his fault I got scammed. Nigga, no, it's, it's just your fault that you didn't see that you was getting scammed. Because I ain't going to lie. Some niggas do get you good. I, I'll give you that. But... The whole point of Fresh and Fit, nigga, you could see that shit from a mile away. They were selling courses, this, that. It was like, bro, at this point, these niggas just want to get scammed. I mean, that had nothing to do with me, though. That's y'all. Oh, man. And then we can't we can't forget about, like, the good credit videos, how to build credit. <laughs> I don't even watch that shit. I don't watch it. I don't, I don't <laughs> no watch it. reality. I don't, I don't even watch <laughs> Like, uh, I'm sure, like, them telling people about how to build credit and stuff like that. That's useful information. Oh, for sure. All as that, long as it's accurate, it's useful information. Like, really that's stuff everybody should and, know. And that's stuff that they were saving the men. I'm being dead ass. I'm being dead ass, though, bro. Yeah, I'm being dead ass, okay. too. Who's okay. going to tell men how to build their credit now that they're not here, bro? Where are these women going to be able to? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, so people don't know as well. They're getting kicked out of the uh, their, partner their, program. Their par- no, 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 the apartment. The apartment he shoots the same. What? They get, <laughs> Guy was like, "No, nah, we're not renewing the lease, bro. It's done, bro. It's done." It's Wait, done. they're getting kicked yeah, out? I didn't know that shit. Well. What the fuck? I, I, and also, for those who don't know, <laughs> uh, apparently they didn't get any like formal information on why this happened. It just happened. Wait. And now they're trying to figure out what it, what it is. But I think they feel more uh, more confident. They probably don't need to receive an answer. More or less, that's what. Wait, these niggas getting kicked out? I didn't know this. I don't. There's a lot of shit I don't know about Fresh and Fit, bro. I thought they bought the mother. It, uh. YouTube thing is, you know, they're not very clear on the answers, and so that's why they feel like it's necessary to go on to Rumble. I think. What are um, your thoughts, man? I think we shouldn't be too quick to celebrate. I think you really shouldn't even celebrate nobody downfall. For sure. Yeah, except the likes they learn them. Of course. Um, but at the same time, celebrate a you- downfall, nigga. Just the same nigga that cheated four fucking times. Like I'm not even trying to be a hating ass nigga. But he was talking about niggas cheating. And then this nigga go cheating four times. I get it. It's in the past. I ain't even trying to make a joke about it. But this nigga is a whole hypocrite. Like, this nigga was talking about niggas cheating and making fun of these niggas cheating. And this nigga ended up cheating four fucking times from a woman. From, what was it? A woman at Arby's or some shit? I don't remember. But he was she was definitely cheating on a woman from a damn store. Grocery store. Bucky's. Whatever it was. But this guy, like... This nigga was literally cheating four times in a fucking row. That shit's crazy. I mean, I ain't, I'm not trying to look. I'm just saying, that, uh, you got to call a spade a spade. I mean, Fresh and Fit really did help some guys open their eyes. But I will agree to you. If you let any guy, if you let any guy try to change your personality, you let any guy try to change you into this whole different person, and you try to copy them, that's fucking crazy. I get it. You could be inspired by other people, but when you start becoming them, or try to turn into them. That shit is actually crazy and weird. So I don't, I don't understand this whole. Well, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going. I'm out of here. Blah blah blah. It, I just, um, I mean, I don't really think a lot of people are trying to be somebody just because they agree with some things they say. For example, you could listen to some things Andrew Tate says. You could agree with his stuff. Next thing you know, women are calling you misogynist. They're calling you all these lame words, and they're calling you a Andrew Tate fan just because you agree with somebody. Just because you agree with somebody doesn't make you a, a, a fucking fan. Just because I agree with you or, or your mama, that don't mean I'm a fan of your mama. And I'm trying to go see her every chance I get because she just says she says a couple things. Um, Just because you don't like somebody don't mean that sometimes shit that they say could be facts. You just don't like them. You, you let your feelings of this person take away the fact that they spit. So that's that's on you. But that's not on nobody else partner program mm-hmm. people like 
them yeah. actually make the whole partner program harder to sell yeah. because YouTube doesn't want their ads, no advertiser wants their ads surfacing on their type of videos. Of course. In all reality, they're just not advertiser friendly and that sucks. <laughs> and the reason why the system is so inconsistent for everyone else is because they're trying to weed out people like them. So in all reality, like if more people like them got packed, it would kind of make things easier for everybody else just trying to make videos. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like you can't trust YouTube to properly and equally enforce everything. So if they're going to start sniping niggas that they disagree with, then it's going to kind of just become a program where you have to agree with some thoughts or at least it is about some thoughts. Because on YouTube, I ain't gonna lie. If you're on YouTube actually taking that you can get away with some of the stuff you can, you can't. This ain't a playground. I ain't gonna lie. You, you might, like, some stuff might slip and slide, but this is some shit that they just won't let you even slide with. I remember Berlizzi channel back then, back, uh, shit, I don't even know how long ago that was, but just because he had some, some, like, I think there were dildos in that motherfucker, he had those type of toys, and he didn't, like, he, did, he didn't blur them out, so YouTube just automatically banned his ass, straight up. And he got a channel back, but shit, that nigga really got banned, no questions asked, YouTube not playing that shit. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Like he didn't even they didn't even give him a chance to fucking try to switch it out or change it. So, and, and I think that it's surprising that Fresh and Fit made it this damn far. I'm not gonna lie, they started in October of 2020. So, to get this far, I ain't gonna lie. I think they had somebody helping them because they were talking about when they got these niggas would get banned weeks at a time. I'm like, how the fuck aren't I even banned yet? When I heard the first time the these niggas got banned the first fucking week, I'm like, nigga, you should have got fucking took off this a long time ago. And so we'll be back, guys. We're just going for a week. And they told them, they they told they told the the uh the audience that they were talking with one of the guys or somebody from the YouTube, from whoever is behind the scenes of banning them, and they were having a talk with them. So I think that guy finally couldn't do anything this time. He's like, I ain't gonna lie, guys. It's really nothing I could do. So that's where they got let go. But I think they would have a. They, I think them niggas really had somebody from the YouTube team helping them. In a way, because there's no fucking way that YouTube being against something like that made them go that far without actually getting taken off until now. So I think they did have somebody on their wing to help them out with that shit. That's just my opinion on that. Otherwise, you're being packed from it. Um, that being said, we're not sure why they got removed. And I think for insurance reasons, a lot of times, when you get banned from a game or a service or something like that, they lots of the times they don't tell you why. Because once they itemize yeah, why, they just, they just you take can your shit. counter that. Mm -hmm. Especially if you get a lawyer or somebody, you can counter that. Yeah, and they, a lot of people they have snap your shit like, you, like they Thanos. Get sued to you you get no time. explanation. They're probably like in the middle of fucking 50,000 lawsuits as we speak. And this could be 50,000 and one for all they know. Because yeah. like, in all reality, YouTube does have a responsibility to make the partner program fair so if they could argue what they did wasn't fair then they could technically win the case but it's also YouTube's a private company and the partner program is not like some it's not a right it's not like a human right right it's a privilege to be on this this, this is a lot have of a shit. sales team that sells and so you don't this is the whole thing I'm saying a lot of people do have to understand that I get it you in a world where you want to try to change perspectives and try to be honest as you can but you can't be honest on platforms like this you just can't. If you're trying to send a message to the men and tell them to be stronger or whatever like that. And, and you know what's fucking crazy to me? Like, a lot of these guys actually laugh at them and all the women call these niggas crazy. But they're actually right about those being the niggas that women want. No, I'm not. Not the niggas that are assholes. That shit is just stupid. You don't treat a woman like a complete asshole. She's just mentally disabled. So there's no way that you're going to fucking think that a woman like that is actually going to fall in love with you. She's She, she needs fucking therapy, my nigga. That, that, that don't mean that you could get woman. That just means that she has a lot of things wrong with her and she's a broken ass woman. That's just that. So when you have a woman that's actually wanting a man who's stronger than her, makes more money. This is actually true. A lot of women want this. But for those reasons, they want a man that's stronger than her for protection. They want a man that makes more money than her for financial reasons. Some shit about... Uh, I actually don't know about that part. But a lot of women want men with these type of traits that Fresh and Fit were talking about. Because a lot of women are screaming that most of the men today are feminine men that they don't want to get with. So when you try to change those type of men back into the masculine men... I get it. They did add some toxic traits. Which is kind of stupid for any man to take that serious. I mean, you got to understand, like, these men don't think for themselves... So when they sitting here actually getting mad about this shit, it's kind of crazy. Like, women do want these type of men. Women want a man that can work and she don't mind staying in the house and a strong man that can fight and stay and she stays upstairs with the kids and he goes in there and handle his shit. He John Wick niggas. 
And she and I, she, she over there protecting her babies. That's how it was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why women are getting mad at the fact that that's what, you know, Andrew Tate and Fresh Fit tried to help men do. Because nobody else was helping these men try to get fucking masculine. Y'all was all telling these men that they feminine. They bitch made. They're soft. Y'all run all over these niggas. And as soon as a nigga like Andrew Tate step in and try to change these men and tell them to get us off. First of all, Andrew Tate been telling these niggas for a while. Get off your ass and stop farting all damn day and do something with your life. That's what they told these niggas. That's what he was telling these niggas. And these women are getting mad and calling these men misogynists. And they fucking hate Andrew Tate. I don't know why. But when this nigga was spitting facts about niggas getting off their ass and actually doing something and making some bread, I don't understand how they're not listening to this. They're just listening to what he did to other women, which wasn't true because all the women that he actually were with for years and years and that he knew actually said good things about this man. Not one woman has came out and said anything that this man has did to them. No woman has mentioned she's been grapes. No woman has been mentioned she's been hit, suplex, none of that. And then the woman that they tried to say that he hit on actually said that that was a role play thing and that they were doing that in a relationship before they broke up or whatever happened. So it's like a lot of people just need to think for themselves. Just because you're watching Andrew Tate does not mean you're a whole incel. So why do they keep thinking that Andrew Tate created incels? Andrew Tate did not create incels. They were always incels. So Andrew Tate's not creating these type of men. These men have always been like this. They just hit behind him to make an excuse of why they're incels. But there are men like me who listen to Andrew Tate and don't hate women or don't want to hit women. He's a very great motivational speaker. You can hate me all y'all want to. I don't care. But that's just how it is. Niggas out here getting mad for no reason. Like, what you want me to do? I'm out here listening to a man telling me, yo, get off your ass, go do something. That's just facts. I don't know what woman doesn't want an ambitious man when Andrew Tate's telling these men to be ambitious. So what's wrong with that? Like, these fucking niggas is crazy. I mean, they laughing at them, but I mean, shit. Am I going to miss for I mean, the, the, I ain't going to lie. The night shows was very entertaining. I mean, you know, the fact that they make fun of girls, I kind of don't really. I'm in the middle with that because they do make women on the show feel comfortable. They do make women actually talk say their points they're not just putting them in a bucket like shut up you can't say this it was one uh podcast called the uh, um the unfiltered podcast with some niggas trying to be myron so fucking bad and that was a podcast where i'm like okay yeah these niggas should not even like these women are stupid for even going on this damn show why would i even go on here but fresh and fit they were more lenient to a woman's point of views but i did try to put all their point of views on these women trying to say no this is how it is you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong it's like everybody does the relationship differently that's what I think. But I don't think that you should sit here and try to put your beliefs on other body, on other people. This is how I think. But shit. If y'all, I mean, uh, women say this. They, they don't want a man. But it's like, you have so many options and your ass can't even choose a nigga that, that you said that you wanted. So what's going on? Out of all the options, you saying, well, I don't want a, well, women don't want men like that. They're assholes, but just you still single. Why aren't you picking that man that you said he can do all this for you? And these are the, I don't, I'm not talking about the woman who want to be single. I'm talking about the woman who actually want to do something. Or they want a man. They want to get. They want to get married. Get in a relationship. It, it makes no fucking sense. So when your dumbass get mad that no man wants you, then what are you bringing to the table? I think these questions should be asked. What are you bringing to the table? Like, are you like, are you a, what they ask? Like, are you a woman who likes hookup culture? Women don't like getting asked these questions. But stop trying to get to know somebody and start actually putting in what you want. Because once you put these things in, what you want before all of that, then she could be like, oh, oh, I didn't know you had a hot sex job. I can't fuck with this. Because when y'all try to sit there and get to know each other, bro, that shit does not do nothing but waste time. I would say point out y'all shit from the beginning. It's that fucking simple. So that's all I got to say on this shit. If I want to see more videos, let me know. I'm going to make sure I uh, look up on this because I didn't even know they were getting kicked out. I got to see it. I got to actually look at that shit. I'm, I'm a nosy motherfucker. But... If y'all like the video, subscribe. I'll be doing more soon. King Martres, I'm out. I love y'all. We on the grind, bro. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up.